The first thing I'm going to do is go to the bottom behind of left cowl panel, <clears throat> which I, I started putting the interior back together. So I'm going to pull that panel off right there. All right, appears to me that's the ground. And then when I follow the this little harness right here and I follow it up and under, you can actually, well, I don't know if you guys see, see those wires right there? And those, those are the wires that are going to be for the motor. So what I've got to do now is probably gonna have to take this door panel off and then uh, go from there with this, I'll zoom out a bit, uh, pull this thing off and uh, then go down and try to see where it, I, I, I'm gonna have, the problem's gonna be in this door. I know that already. All right, door panel's off and um, yellow with black and red with black. I've already noticed that the uh, wiring on this, the color coding is wrong. So I do have blue with black and I have black. The black's gonna be my ground, right? But I don't see the yellow with black or the red. I, there's nowhere in here is there even red. So what I have deduced is by looking at this, I have the white with yellow. Um, I have the pink with yellow. I have the blue with black and the black. Now this harness, does come straight through and now that I've actually playing with this thing here it does pull now it, it is attached right here so and I wasn't tugging on this a whole lot but you see here I pull on that so what I'm doing now is I'm just gonna go through and try to match up these these colors right here and I'm gonna write down what colors I'm looking for here or I'll be going back and forth anyway but this is where I'm at right here and uh, if I find something along this way here I'll let you know here. Stay tuned. As it starts to rain on me, which is just great. I think it's gonna be short lived. Um, I've got the, <laughs> I've got it out and it probably wouldn't have happened. You know what I mean? Like I wouldn't have had this issue if I had just taken the screws out of the back of this. There's two Phillips screws on the back um, and then you just unplug this. But now that I have this free, um, once this rain stops dumping on me here, I'll, uh, Go ahead and get back into doing this. Probably pop this rivet or pop that off there so freeze it up a little bit more. Um, just have a little more play with it. And uh, I'll go from there. I picked one heck of a day to get this started on a day off. Of course, can't help that. Uh, it's supposed to be raining. I just checked the radar. So I might not get everything done today. I'm going to get done whatever I can today. I have to go through this wiring right here. And I'm trying to figure out what makes sense here is why both sides don't work. And what I keep coming to is the fact that they have a shared ground. But neither up or down work. So either this light blue black. So I'm thinking light blue black. Which is the one constant I have and that actually is for both sides right there. You guys see that. So I'm actually kind of leaning toward this light blue black because that's a common power. The ground down there looks fine. Common blue and black here, which is the colors that do actually work. All right, I'm gonna see what I can do and get in here and try to see if I can find the common blue and black. And working with this rubber grommet over top of the wiring is real fun. All right, stay tuned. Okay. Grounded out e-brake. And when I touch the blue, black, Hold a second. I touch it. There you go. See, I got a light. So I do have power. And I have the same thing on that side. There. See? So I actually do have power to both switches. So both of these have switch. Um, so now I'm leaning toward a ground. So good ground. I can jam this in there. Yeah, right there. Why not just, oh, I don't, because I was shorting it out. So, come on. Did I just blow a fuse? Did I just blow a fuse? For the net to have a good ground? Did I just do that? Oh no, there we go. Yeah, there we go, okay, I, got, I do have power. So, checking ground, all right. So, now here's the thing. What I'm gonna do, because I know that there's power there, 
if I ground this out here, right, um, will I have, I should have power. Okay, so that has power. I gave this ground, nothing happened. Um, this side doesn't have power. I couldn't get that to light up, but I was giving that one. So that works. That doesn't. Locks work. So now I'm trying to figure out so why. You guys seen something I'm not. Hmm. All right. So here's where I'm at. There's power there. There is actually ground there because when I put a ground on that, on my test light, when I, I put my ground on, test light on that side and I put it on that side there, there's power from here to here. But yet, there's nothing. So I'm not going to say maybe it actually isn't this side. Wouldn't it be funny? What are the odds of it not being in this switch at all? Which, to be honest with you, I have power and ground to this switch. It would have to be the light blue black that comes down. But that's what I mean. This is what this is what where I'm confused with this because according to this, this comes down, but then these ones here feed right directly to the switch as well. So the only thing I could do, and I don't think I could do it, is if I actually push down on this to see if there was power. So like, I'd have to have two people here. So like, what I do is if I push down on this and send power to that, it can I then turn that, I, I need two people or a stick. I didn't need two people, I can actually reach over there. So I was pushing this down, and when I was pushing down, I pushed down over there and nothing happened. So, where am I right now? No, oh, that, hold on, that's really blurry. Why that went so blurry. Uh, so, this is where I'm at. I actually have power and ground to this switch. So it's gonna be somewhere else. Go figure, it's gonna be somewhere else. Of course it's gonna be somewhere else, because, you know, this couldn't actually be as easy as uh, just, you know, I pulled the wire out or broke a wire in this door. All right, all right, well, it's gonna keep on going. Just, I'll figure this out. That's wrong. That says there's four grounds as an example. Never mind the colors. So I'm looking at this. I've been looking at this for a minute. Um, one, two, three, four, five. There's five grounds and then there's a black and white back here. The only color that's consistent is the uh, blue black on both sides. That's going to be my 12 volt power. That's a constant from what I get. Um, that's working. Well, key's off right now. I know the driver's side's working. Left side's working. So I'm trying to figure out then what is there another ground on here for this side that I'm missing because there's five grounds on this. And I'm trying to figure out no, okay, 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 I see this, I see this. Okay, so power, ground for unlock. Um, what would that be, the black, black and white to black, I believe. Sorry. Um, that a, so that black right there to black and white, that's the ground that's going to be for unlock and then lock. So those ones work. Now here's where it really got me confused because I have inside here this ground which goes over to here and then in this black right here or blue so these two guys right here they seem to be and then these two right here then I'm thinking these two right here and then these two right here but then what the heck is this pink and yellow and white yellow 
in the back. The heck is that stuff for? I need to see if I can't get the proper wiring harness. Um, now, with that being said, when I say that, I don't know if it would have anything to do with this, but the fact, if you guys watched my other videos, uh, my reverse lights as an example, and then you saw that trailer, uh, trailer relay, I actually come to find out that this is a, a camper special, I think is what they call it. So it's a 93 F-150 XLT 4x4 regular cab 8 foot box camper special. And that's why I have that additional leaf spring and all the st stability on this thing compared to every other truck that I see. So my truck is unique. And apparently, <laughs> very unique. So let's try and find the proper wiring harness for this or wiring diagram for this with these colors. And I'll go from there. Because as it is right now, I think I'm running in circles because I'm not sure which colors I'm looking for. Hmm. One of the things that bugs me is that you guys see that? Ever, ever, ever so slightly. That light dims out. When I hit that power. Up or down. So it has a draw. When I'm hitting that button. For sure. It's definitely drawing power. Well, Because I mean it's worked. It's ground. This thing has power and it has ground. Hence why it's able to pull power. I've already put a, a, a known good motor. I, I plug, plugged it into that side. Hmm. Yeah, the only constant I have on this side is that blue with black. So I'm gonna guess uh, blue, black to the yellow with, oh no, that's white with yellow. Or the red with yellow to the brown with blue. Hmm. All right, so I verified I have power over there. So I'm over here to verify I have power over here. If I can put power, well, from there, I'm, I'm See, this is why I don't like not having proper wiring diagrams, because all I know is it's, uh, I'll try it anyways. I do have one clue, and if you guys have been watching this video, you guys know what that clue is. Okay, that is active. I do have power there. So now I just got to figure out which one's ground. All right, so white with yellow is going to be ground, because if I go here, I have, oh, sorry, I have power. All right, so that one has power. The thing is, I don't know which one's up and down. Um, so if that one has power, what is this other one here? Uh, nope. That one doesn't have power. I wonder if it has to be pushed. Let me see here. Nope. Not lighting. Uh, all I know is that it's obviously grounded from there to there. So is that brown in? Let me see. I'll shove this one in here. I'll put it on the blue and I have power. All right, so that's it. So my brown with blue and my yellow with white are gonna be my ground wires. And I have power here. So the question is that red with yellow. Oh look, red with yellow. I think that was supposed to be a set. Uh, so here if I hit, that's not lighting. But that shouldn't matter, right? That's only one way, right? So. Oh, look, I have power. Oh, no way. Are you kidding me? What are the odds, guys, that <laughs> something's going on here, right? Because I put a motor on this, a known good motor, and it didn't work. That wire there is just a little burnt from the heat shrink. Because I actually go back a while ago, a, a long while ago, I actually cut this harness off um, because the switch wasn't working. Anyways, I digress. Let's, let's take this door panel off.
I have to say, this feels like two steps back. Um, all right, so, yeah, yeah, locks work. Uh, I'm going to my motor. So I have yellow and red. So I have to, now, I want to determine if there's power going to that motor. Just so we're all on the same page, that is red with yellow and yellow with red. <laughs> None of them cut. Yeah, they're not there. All right, so let's go ahead. I'm going to put my leads on this here and see if I can't figure out if there's power to it. Take a wild guess of what just happened. Take a wild guess. You've got to be freaking kidding me. I don't think I can get this thing to stay there. There. Uh, hold on. So bear with me for a second. So, I uh, got that on that side. Put that on that side right there so she's touching. Bring this switch up. Look at that. Oh, hey. You guys see that okay? Did you? Now you gotta ask yourself, what in God's name changed where the last time I tried this and I didn't have power, and now I do. Oh! <laughs> oh my God, man, I was misled the first time I did this test. On video, I plugged this thing in and I didn't have power. All right. I don't have power um so that motor is toast yeah that motor's toast you know what i'm actually going to remove it and uh i want to make sure i get the right one because when i ordered that one from Dorman, it was the wrong motor it's a different size motor than, than that one that would be great if i could use well i can't really use this one because the gears in that are messed up but okay it's a motor um definitively now i had the clue that i had and let's go back a second um when i was on that side when i actually had that grounded and i touched that uh blue black it 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 arced um i thought for sure maybe i had an open an open ground like a ground to short um or sorry a power to short a power to ground ah, power to ground um is what i thought i had and I thought maybe that's why, because if you guys can go back and look at that first video where I hooked this thing up to this side and I didn't, it didn't work. So that's why I was thinking I did something over there on that side. Either way, that's actually good news. She's diagnosed. Um, that's all but it. Uh, once I actually get that part number or whatever, um, I'm going to have to order the, the electric motor for this now anyways. So yeah diagnosed and uh, well not repaired yet but that's where, she, where we're at with it so i can put that side back together again it's not on that side and i have actually deduced now that it is in fact the motor on this side you know what you can do when you actually have a proper test light and tools it's crazy um yeah so there we are that's where we're at with this thing um she's all but diagnosed anyways like i said Put a motor on that side and what are the odds and i gotta say one of my colleagues at work said that back when this all happened what are the odds that uh the motor went on the other side <laughs> what are, what are the odds of me putting a brand new window regulator with motor in this thing and that motor stop just 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 stop receiving commands well i don't know what those odds are maybe i start paying the lottery ah bye all right, I'm gonna end it here. I gotta put all this back together again. I'll leave that door panel off because, well, I gotta get that motor out now anyway. So I'm, like I said, uh, if you guys watch the other video, there's holes drilled, like what I did right here. Um, actually, funny is, mine almost look factory the way they're drilled. Uh, those ones look kind of messy. Doesn't matter. Uh, I can't remember what size bolt that is, but I gotta get that electric motor off. Actually, I can't because that window will drop. Ah, oh, I love this stuff. Guess what? Subscribe, like, share, comment, leave a comment, do all that stuff, guys. Uh, that's it. I'm done. Um, <laughs> that's where we're at. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.